But all across the country, law enforcement is warning people to stay alert. Extremists wanting to target the Jewish community are calling tomorrow a national day of hate. Yeah, 13 News Now anchor Janet Roach joins us now with how one local Jewish congregation is focusing on peace instead. Janet. Yes, in response, Jewish organizations have labeled tomorrow a day of peace, not of hate. And police want everyone to be extra aware of suspicious activity. Rabbi Roz Mandelberg of a Norfolk Jewish temple says focused on her uh, congregation is focused on safety given today's climate. She says their security protocols are in place and they've been in contact with all forms of law enforcement. We can't be naive and think mm -hmm. that we're as safe as we ought to be in 2023. Uh, but at the same time, we can't let any hate deter us from living as joyfully, fully, and purposefully as we can as Jews. And just last Semitic flyers were passed around in a Norfolk neighborhood. Chesapeake police tell us they encourage people to report any suspicious activity, any criminal action against a person, property or place because of religion will be prosecuted as a hate crime. Janet Roach, 13 News Now. All right, Janet, thank you. And a newly passed bill in Richmond could help prevent acts of anti-Semitism in the Commonwealth. House Bill 1606 adopts the working definition of anti-Semitism that the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance uses. That means it will officially be defined in Virginia law. The bill sponsor says this is, quote, a strong step forward in eliminating anti-Semitic hate.